Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I am, as always, Drawing Chaos. Ooh, ah, ah, that's hot. So, welcome back to the game. Uh, Update 7 has now come across Early Access, and we have the ability, nay, the privilege, to start making blueprints. That's right, we can make a copy upon a copy upon a copy. If you haven't seen the wonderful video that Coffee Stain put out, please check it out. It shows some amazing stuff we can do in Update 7. I mean, it also shows about clones. But who, who would go crazy and just clone themselves everywhere? I mean, that would just be nuts. I mean, who would want some kind of workforce that just comes out of nowhere, right? Right? R right? Well, uh, clones aside, Update 7 did bring with it a lot of cool stuff. And let's just say, okay... I'm no guru or anything like that, but I did notice that there is a unique way that uh, blueprints have been used in Update 7 thus far. And I'm here to show you that there's actually another way, a more efficient way, a little bit of a better way, though that's just my opinion. But let's come over here for a second and I can show you. So as we can see over here, here's the lovely blueprint machine that is unlocked in tier four and it is looking marvelous, chunky boy and whatnot. Oh crap, I uh, left my last blueprint on there. <laughs> let, me, let me just clear this out of the way, okay? Hey, let's get rid of that. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. That got rid of that. Now it's gone. Don't worry. Hey, what, what are you giving me that look for? Okay, I'll show them what really happened. So I couldn't get rid of them, so I had to, you know, just uh, kind of deal with it in my own special way. Okay? All right. Now the magic is gone, and what, what the hell? Ah, uh, yeah. Poor little guy. Oh, it's okay. You're in a... Wait. What? Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that. I'm not freaking out. You saw that, right? It's a ghost cup. Noni? Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, now we really have to get rid of the evidence. I mean, body. body I mean, uh, but anyway. Okay, okay. So we're back to reality. It magically disappeared. And let us load in some of our wonderful blueprints. Because this is what originally everybody has been doing. They've been loading in blueprints and kind of making their own little stuff. And that has been a great idea thus far. It's been working out really good because people have made a lot of cool blueprints. And to be honest, I've done the same. I was like a kid in a candy shop, brand new toy. I wanted to play with it, and I wanted to create myself some beautiful blueprints. But here's the thing, all right? If you know me, you know that I love to build things. I love to design things, and I use some repeatable patterns over and over again. So the idea of blueprints should be right up my alley. And to be honest, it is. Because as you can see from some of these builds, whether I build small or huge builds, they all have a bunch of repeating patterns. They all have a bunch of same stuff over and over again, but they're all designed differently. And this is where it comes across as we're all kind of doing it a little bit wrong. Because when you start making blueprints, like when you start putting them ahead of time and trying to figure out what to do and what to use them for, you're gonna start actually relying on the blueprint more than the creativity. And what I mean by that is, you're gonna go into the blueprint and you're gonna be like, I have this blueprint for, say, foundries or for uh, refineries or something like that. And you're gonna try and find ways of actually getting that blueprint to work for the build instead of actually trying new builds. And listen, I'm a huge creative guy. A lot of this stuff I love coming across and creating something brand new or different or unique for the next build. I don't really want all my stuff to look the same, but I also like to try different things, especially with curves and, you know, trying to make things work using different areas and stuff like that. So I love the huge creative stuff. And 
blueprints are a very good thing. I'm not saying don't use blueprints. Listen, blueprints are going to be amazing going forward. Use them 100%. I'm just saying there's going to be a different way to use them that I personally recommend. And listen, I've built some grandiose, giant, huge palace of a factory, and it has a lot of repeating stuff in it. This blueprint machine is going to be used, overused, and abused for real. But there is a unique way to do this. And if we actually go to this build too, I want to show you exactly what I'm going to use it for. So let's go into the game. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my creative world. You actually get a sneak peek at what's coming up and what I've been working on, but for right now I just want to talk about blueprints because I've been using them in this build and it's been coming across really nicely and that's where I learned about this method and everything. And yeah, I know this is creative and you some of you want to call me a cheater and whatnot. Hey, listen, I work 50 hours at the job that pays the bills. I want to come home and I just want to build, okay? And look at all this detail. It doesn't come easy, man. It takes time. But with blueprints, it takes less time. So let's go in and take a look at the blueprint machine. Looks amazing, right? Well, the way I want to show it is, imagine that I'm building this room out right here, okay? I have my framework and everything, and I want to build a nice little pillar that goes in the center. Normally, you'd have to build these all, you know, exactly the same over and over again. But with the blueprint machine, you can just copy and paste. The thing I'm saying is, we don't need to build ahead of time. What? Come on. Oh no, the update seven crash. Yep, there we go. It crashes when you delete things for some reason. I don't know why, but you need to fill out a crash report so they know exactly what happened. Please let us know what you're doing. Why? I didn't do anything. What are you insinuating? <laughs> Insinu How do you spell insinuating? I can't spell. All right, so we'll send that crash report off and we'll let them know that that's going on, but uh, that is really annoying. If you're having that, let me know down in the comment section. I want to know who else is having this issue. But we're back. Welcome back. So like I was saying, I want to build something out right here. Now, this is an earlier save I had to go back to just so I can actually have some, you know, more frames and everything to work with. Hopefully that'll fix the issue for right now. But let's say I go into the blueprint machine and everything like that, and I want to build myself like a pillar. Well, the problem is if I'm building different pillars, I'm building them in different sizes. So imagine how many sizes I would have to build. I'm not going to have one over here for, say, five tiles high. And what if this floor down here is also not filed to five tiles high? I mean, it is, but, you know, let's say it wasn't. But, oh, here's a good example. This one down here. Let's say I want to replace this pillar down here. This pillar is seven foundations high. All right. Let's say I want to build something to replace that. Well, if you actually come across what you want to build, like say I want to build this pillar, I want to replace this pillar, then go into the blueprint machine and then start going, I'm going to start replacing it. Then what you're doing is you're making it more efficient because you're only doing the stuff that you actually build. You're doing the framework and everything for the whole build, but you're actually going into each and every individual one and you're only building what you need. You can, play, uh, you can create blueprints versus what you need instead of like, you know, actually going in there and having to build one for every different variety that you might come across. All right, so as you saw, I went in there and I built myself a simple little one and now I can put it down and now I can reuse it later on if I ever come across it but for what I need this build for, it is ready to go. And now I can just delete all these pillars and rebuild them with this. That's where I find that the real efficiency for the blueprint comes across. Now let's say I wanted to build that same thing right here. Well, I mean, I, if I built the seven high one, now I have to rebuild one anyway. So I would rather have a different one for this floor compared to the one below it, especially if the height on it is differently. 
Now, I built that one different later on and uh, whatever and everything like that, but it's nice to have this one different from this one, even though they have the same kind of aesthetic feel to it. They're both pillars, they both got that roundness and everything to it, the squares and all that kind of stuff. They're similar in style, but yet they are different nonetheless. Now, let's say I built the 5-1 first, and now I'm trying to figure out how to get this 5-1 in here. Now, I'm wasting time trying to do this, and then let's say I do that. Okay, I can build that down there, no problem. Now, I gotta figure out, well, what am I gonna do with the ceiling part of it? Because now it just doesn't go flush with it, then I have to figure that out. Go across and delete all those interesting things down there, just to figure it out. When I could create a whole new blueprint to begin with. And I know some of you are going to say, why don't you just delete the middle ones and have it in there? Well, I mean, to be fair, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it does kind of fit, but at the same time, now i got those giant squares that I feel like doesn't work with the build. Sometimes it's better to just build something for that one section instead of trying to make something that you've already had fit what you want it to do. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Now, when it comes to blueprints on your computer, a lot of people ask me where they're at. Well, if you actually go into your files, it's quite easy to find. They're pretty much right where your save files are at. So if you go into your computer, you find your name under the users, you're gonna go into app data, then you're gonna go for local, factory game, and then under saves. Now when you're looking at this, you are going to look for your saved games. You'll have one for all your save files that you can put stuff into, and then you'll have one for blueprints. Now each save game will have its own set of blueprints. So let's say you made a one and one and you want to bring it to the other one. Well, you'll have all your blueprints right here. What you can do is you can go along them, you can copy them, press a little back arrow, then go into the other save and you can paste all the ones in there. So if you do make it in another one, you can actually bring it to another save very easily. And this is the same area too that you're going to find all your save files in case you want to download any saves and try those out. Now in terms of blueprints for the community, welcome to my hashtag blueprints in my discord. Yes, welcome to my discord where all the fun is to be had. We have a home life save, so if you want to test out the home lives and see where those are at. Uh, we also have stuff under the free downloads, most of it is in the pinned comments. But now I have a section for all the blueprints, which I will be updating all the blueprints in there as I go along. So if you'd like to see any of the blueprints that I use and you want to use them for yourself, they will be in there. Just just download them, throw them in your file, and then you can leave the Discord. But I'd like it if you'd stayed. That would be great. And that's going to be it for me today. Nice short little video. I just wanted to get out more information on the blueprints because they're awesome. But other than that, I just want to say you all have a great day. And I appreciate you all for joining. Bye, buddy.